In the last video, we just did some basic setup for the project. In this one, we're going to add an AI controller to the NPC. Now, all characters in Unreal need a controller. The player gets a player controller which accepts input from the gamepad and keyboard and mouse and any other input devices that the player can use. Whereas for an NPC, it needs to be under computer control. And so you have a different kind of controller called an AI controller. So I'm going to create one of these in the C++ classes folder. And we need to turn on all classes and it's this one here. So that's what we inherit from. We inherit from AI controller and I'm going to call it NPC underscore AI controller. Notice that when you create these classes, you just give the name of the file, which in this case is NPC underscore AI controller dot H and dot CPP. And the Unreal editor adds a sort of a prefix on the front. In the case of this class, it's got an A and its parent has also got an A on the front. Some of the ones we're going to be creating later on will have a U on the front. So don't put this A on the front or the U. Before we continue, we need to sort out the link. Now they are using C sharp as a build system. So if you open up this CPP AI tutorial.build.cs, we've got this bit of C sharp and I need to add things to this. So in here, in this public dependency module names, they've got the current modules that are being used in the project. And these are needed to resolve external references for the linker. If you don't put stuff you need in here, you'll get link errors. It will compile, but not link. So if we're getting link errors, this is the reason why. And we need some extra modules. You may wonder how you work out which ones to include. Well, if I go to the online help, you can just Google the class you're interested in. In Google, of course, it will eventually get you here. I've got the AI, so the AAI controller class. And in the references section, you can see there is a module entry and it's telling me I need the AI module. So you haven't got that in the CS build. If you haven't got that in the build CS file. You'll need to add it. We also need the navigation system because we're going to add a nav mesh bounds volume, I think it's called, which is basically a, a volume which determines where the NPC can move to. It won't be able to move outside of that defined area. So in the NPC header, I'm going to add a U property. I'm just going to call that tree. You need this header, this behavior tree, behavior tree dot H header. I'm going to add a getter function. I'll need to implement this. Okay, this is for thinking ahead. We haven't set this tree up yet, but in the controller, I need some declarations. So this is in NPC underscore AI controller. I need the constructor. I need to make this constructor explicit and it takes a single parameter, doesn't it? Yes, an F object initializer. In Rider, if you click on the class name, press Alt Enter, you can generate overridden members. So on Possess, I think there was a bit of redundancy in the old series. I had a, a U blackball component property. I don't think I need that because there's ways of getting the blackball component from this AI controller. If you look at this documentation, there is actually a blackball component in here, but it's stored as a T object PTR and you should be able to get it. There's a, yeah, there's a get blackball component. And if we look at that, it returns a pointer to a U blackboard component. So I'm going to do things a little bit differently. I'm not doing anything in the constructor at the moment. Later on we will be. So in this on possess now on possess runs when the controller possesses the pawn or the character.
Okay, a little bit of explanation is required. See, in the MPC, we've got this tree, this behavior tree. That's going to be set in the editor. I've got a getter function for that. So in here, if this pawn is the MPC, so if this cast succeeds, we try and get the tree from it. If that succeeds, then I have this local temporary variable, which is U black ball component and we then call this use blackboard. Now what does it say? It says makes AI use the specified blackboard asset and creates a blackboard component if one does not already exist. If you don't do this, it tends to sort of like crash. What it does, it tries to get the blackboard asset from the tree. If one exists, it puts it in this output parameter, this B parameter. We then set the blackboard to that. If one doesn't exist, it creates one and then puts it in this output. And then we run the behavior tree. So I'm going to do a build now. I think everything's there. So that was a success. That will be all for this video. In the next one, I think we're going to be doing the behavior tree.